Russ Wilson, Russell Wilson, what a guy. he's an American hero. He gave away 300,000 meals yesterday because of a closest to the pin shot. Tiger Woods was the only one who did not oh. uh, get another 100,000 from meals from Russell Wilson. But also, Russell Wilson, standout Yankee and Seahawks, said that he wouldn't mind seeing Antonio Brown become a Seattle Seahawk. And from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, there's an entire report coming out that nobody in the NFL has a clue what suspension Antonio Brown faces coming back. Nobody knows. Uh, could he miss, be suspended an entire season because there's a lot of allegations against him? Could he potentially only have to be suspended a couple games? Nobody knows because the NFL hasn't even started looking into it yet because the NFL won't start looking into it actually until a team shows real desire to sign him. He had a workout with the Saints. He got sent home after that. He made it. I just got home, home from, from the, the NFL. Made a banger after that trip but i'm not sure there was enough interest from the saints for the nfl to do its investigation to see how long the suspension is but if russell wilson lands antonio brown up there and for some reason he can play this season i mean that's immediately a massive benefactor for the seahawks he is such a good football player which is why it's so sad all the shit that's happened off the field he is immediately target number one whatever field he goes to and not only in the receiving game but in the return game and with what defenses will have to do with him every every single person that's ever been around him says he works his ass off not a single person has ever questioned his work ethic on whether or not he'd be ready to be back or not it's everything else and i think seattle is an environment and a culture that could potentially handle the antonio brown coming into their locker room you would think that they definitely can and i'm what makes me wonder though is the league really like what is it going to take for them to figure out what his suspension, what his punishment may be. Like, so say the Seahawks, can't they make a call to the league office and say, hey, we obviously we don't, we're not going to sign the guy right now, but to even consider signing him, we need to know what his future may look like this coming season. So can you please give us some kind of idea of what you're going to do with them? Like, can't they ask that? I would assume that a team would have to do that. And does that automatically start – the investigation then or is there like a list of those types of investigations are like yeah we'll put it in the line i wonder if pete carroll who i think would love antonio brown i think his big thing is like we compete every day here be yourself do your thing they don't have a lot of weapons other than lock it right mm -hmm. metcalf too oh okay metcalf. metcalf lock it in antonio brown automatically makes russell wilson happier i was some great Damn, olsen that Thanks. would be that would be a hell of an offense. So Pete Carroll's just got to call in. I don't know how that works, AJ. I honestly like because when Sean Payton worked him out, did he call the NFL first and say, "Hey, if we were to sign him, how many games would we have to miss him?" And then did the NFL just say, eh, "We're not looking into that right now"? I don't know how that whole process goes. I don't know if there's ever been a situation like this before, where it's a guy who, by all accounts number one or top three wide receiver in the NFL, top three at their position in the NFL, has a waiting suspension that nobody knows about what it is. And who decides that? Do they project what they think it would be? Like, how do they get an accurate projection if it doesn't do the full investigation? I don't know how it works out, but I know that the Seahawks immediately become a much better team if they get old AB on that squad. No, he'd be huge for the Seahawks, but I think for Antonio Brown, like, does he have an agent now? Didn't Rosenhaus leave him during the everything? Yeah, I, I, I would assume that that friend, he told, he said that AB has to get mental help for him to go back to help him or something like that. He, I think Rosenhaus set out a uh, thing like, hey, you need to do this before we continue to work together. And I believe that was in the middle of AB's real interesting part of his life there and ab came out against rosenhouse and said he's the biggest scammer and all this stuff i i would assume that there's a way for that relationship to get back together but it feels like and i know it's only been a little bit of time and you can't judge somebody just off of one or, or two weeks or three weeks or a month of action it feels like antonio brown has quieted down all the off the field noise that he was in chaos that was following him there for a little bit i mean when he came out of the court in those cowboy boots and with the ankle uh bracelet on and sprinted and then rap song and uh, i mean it was a wild time to be alive there for ab he did hire a new agent as well who's the new agent uh ed wazalowski of emg sports you know emg at all i don't think i know anybody from emg I don't know Ed, but I, I, I would hope Ed and any lawyers working for Antonio Brown 
should be pushing the league and be like, hey, like you're hindering my ability to work next year with this hanging over my head. Sure, I messed up. Of course, I own it. But you got to let me know. Is it four games? Is it eight games? Like, am I no games? Like, what am I doing? What do I need to do to get back on track so a team will sign me? Because with that hanging out there and all the uncertainty, why would you bring him in? Well, and then what will the NFL say? Well, we got to see about all these allegations that you have because they're pretty large. If these allegations come to fruition in the courtroom, then whatever we decide to suspend you now is going to be subject to change from that. I, I, I just assume... That is he awaiting some kind of... He's yeah. not awaiting like a trial, though, is he? But what's going on with his legal... With I think he's awaiting cops? a couple. Oh. You got to remember the bag of dicks at the truck, right? Mm-hmm. And, and there was alleged... Uh, he back. needs to plea those down and get those all... Get, and get that situated. Well, then he has the... The, the moving... The moving... Yeah, through, through, through allegedly the rock. threw a rock at a guy in a moving truck. That's yeah. the and then he didn't pay him, so they said it was robbery and uh, battery or something like that. Yeah. But I feel like that one could get settled because that sounds like the truck driver was... I'm not saying anything. I don't know the situation. But that one seemed like that one got blown up a, a yeah. bit more than it actually was. But you see the videos that were coming out of Antonio Brown at that time, his IG lives, were absolute chaos. So it was good that it happened because it got him in jail and hopefully gave him a chance to hit rock bottom. But the one I would assume is the sexual assault allegation yeah. that is out there. I assume that's the one where the NFL is like, we have no idea what's going to happen with this. We can't accurately tell you how many games you're suspended if you're ever allowed back in the league, by the way. There, I guess there's there's multiple situations that I almost forgot about it because there was such a, a a moment in time when it seemed like every month or every three weeks something new was happening. So I guess I never because he has been quiet the last what two months, three yeah. months. I don't well, know. the question is, let's say he did have some sort of mental health thing going on, which we cannot rule out with the way everything was rolling. He he didn't seem like a man who was making good decisions, right? If you see a doctor and they figure out how to level out your chemicals. Like it very much is like a, I don't want to say like an overnight thing, but it is like a, oh, this much this person becomes a sane person and a healthy person. I'll be interested to see how much the NFL looks into that. Like, okay, whenever he was doing all these, you know, not only alleged terrible things, but actual terrible things on his IG live and stuff with his kids and his wife who he's back with his lady and he's back with his kids. It feels like he's really trying to get back into that whole thing. I wonder how much Goodell in the NFL is like, we don't know enough, but if you're the agent, you're hundred percent right. You're calling. You're like, Hey, we need to know what it's going to be. So whenever we talk to the Seahawks or when we talk to another team, yeah, we get that we'll be out for whatever, eight games, whatever it is, 10 games, however many it is. But whenever that happens, we got to have some sort of goal because if not, we got no shot in this whole thing. It's similar to, to Josh Gordon kind of, because I mean, he got suspended for what marijuana again. And now that's off the, that's off the new, or it's not a uh, suspension anymore. Yeah. Correct. So like, what do they do with him? But we don't know if it's just marijuana. Cause whenever it came out that he, was being suspended it said ped and substance of abuse okay so i don't know if they did that just as a like that's what we do that's how we announce it or if it was a ped and i don't know none of us know anything because all that is what uh client doctor or patient doctor privilege okay. HIPAA? but the nfl like the HIPAA law but the nfl can also know Hippo. yeah the nfl if someone tests positive the nfl doesn't ever come out publicly and say what ever. they tested positive for that's up to the player if they want to try to say what they tested positive for and guess what oh somehow all the players test positive for oh it was a tainted supplement my protein powder must have had some juice in there that adderall I, I tried adderall that was the new one you know the new one was oh i tried adderall because i was uh, studying the playbook or something like <laughs> and then the nfl by the way never comes out and says well that's full of shit or not because the nfl does to the nfl's credit they do very much not say anything. They let everybody else kind of control the narrative on what the well, test they, is. They don't want it. They, you think they want to publicize positive tests more than, than they, they already are getting, like the, the well, attention it's getting? We had a guy on our team fail a test for a PED, and he said it was because he was taking extends. <laughs> and that can, that can trigger a positive test. That's what he said. And it felt like he not only lost games, but a lot more, too, whenever <laughs> he had to tell the room that he was trying to make his dick big. Wait, he told the whole room? Well, I think he might have told somebody in the training room. And if you t- say something in the training room, you might as well just go ahead and get on a megaphone and be like, hey, everybody, you're trying to get a you know 10-inch hog. Sorry about that. <laughs> Spending four games. Look good, feel good. Feel good, play good. Play good, pay good, pay good, live good, live good, die good.